Hi, my name is Jamie. I live in Saudi Arabia. I have a cold. I have three cats. I am an elementary school teacher. And mostly why you're here is that I have an irresponsible amount of makeup. <laughs> I have amassed a collection that is especially fun with regards to eyeshadows. We all love eyeshadows here. There, I got that segue. Okay. Sometimes it's hard, you know, you gotta like come up with things to say and you gotta be like clever, you know? And I don't feel like I am sometimes. Also, the cadence of my voice really grates me. Like, I am so sorry to people who have to listen to me because I have to listen to me. And then when I listen to me, I'm like, wow, your voice and your cadence and your rhythm is really annoying. But I do what I can here and thanks. So if you're new here, hi. And if you're visiting and stopping by, please stay, subscribe, like, and comment. It really does help. And I mean, you know that, but seriously, like, just, just give me a little boop, and then that'd be good. That'd be good. Now that I've spieled enough for you, let's get into what I'm going to talk about today. I have been collecting some data. So we're going to give you a quarterly report. So you know how like businesses are supposed to do their taxes every quarter or whatever, as if I know. <laughs> uh, I am going to be kind of rounding up palettes that I've used the most every three months or so. So I keep track of every palette that I use every month all the time because I am in fact a psycho and the list of hobbies that I have is real short. So. Definitely, I have some data to rely upon, and I have specific numbers of palettes that I've worn and how many times I wore them. And yeah, part of this too is that I am going to be moving, so probably I will be decluttering things at a certain point, but I really, really am resistant to decluttering eyeshadow palettes. As you can imagine, I spent this money. I like them, I like to look at them, but when it comes down to using them, I only have one face. I only have two eyes. And I probably do my makeup twice a day sometimes, and even still, I don't understand how people hit pan on eyeshadow, I just don't. When I get a new palette, I do try to wear it at least three times in that month. So if I have a new palette, I'm wearing it at least three times that month. So kind of the that's that's the benchmark score for a new palette so usually I have a lot sitting right at three because I'll try it I'll use it and then the next month I'll be like trying something else so that's kind of how that works but to say that I've used a palette three times is kind of normal to reach five or six times in three months is a definitely above average. I started keeping track of the palettes that I used and how many times I used them in late December. So there are technically some palettes from 2022, but not really, it's a whole thing. Like I had I had started my, my ranking in the middle of December because you know, everybody's watching at that time. And then I started it over in 2023. So some of December is included. So it goes from like end of December to March. So this is a good time to do this video. So these are the palettes that I have used the most in the last three months. So I was finished filming, but I am hopping back on to talk about how I have decluttered three palettes in the last three months as well. First one is that I gave to a friend the Blood Sugar Mini palette. So yeah, bye. I also ended up cannibalizing <laughs> my uh, Nikki Tutorials Beauty Bay palette, uh, that collaboration palette. I ripped it apart and pulled out all of the shimmers and all the shimmers are in a, a thing, you know, a, what's it called? Magnetic palette, hello. And to be honest, I'm thinking about getting rid of those shimmers too. I think their days are numbered. Additionally, I took the Berlin 89 <laughs> palette. I kept calling it Berlin 69. It is not Berlin 69. It is Berlin 89. So I took that palette and I pried the duochrome out of it and kept it. I think it's like, uh, I can't remember what it's called. I pulled that duochrome out and I threw the rest of that palette away. It's gone. So back to, back to other Jamie, earlier Jamie. She's still talking. The first palette that I'm going to talk about is kind of a weird one in that it is a custom made palette, but 
who better to design a color story that I would like the most than me? You know what I mean? So I am going to include the names of the shades that I have. And this is a custom lethal palette that I have. It is really beautiful. I am going to swatch it for you, so one moment. Okay, so here is the palette swatched. And here we are up on screen. So I won't even lie to you. This doesn't swatch the greatest, but it is beautiful. Beautiful on the eyes. And I ended up paying 79 euros for this. It was expensive, but that's definitely due to the duochromes. Like I said, the swatches don't do this justice, really. So I'm going to include the shade names if you are ever curious in wanting to purchase any of them, if you like the looks of them. But like I said, I know this is weird, but I definitely have been reaching into this more than average. This is another weird one. This is currently available in the U.S for $20 on the Be Perfect website. It's on sale and you can't get it overseas. I don't know what's going on there. There's something weird with the Be Perfect location website. I don't know. But this is the Manifest Dream Big Palette. No lie. I love this palette. I love it. I know you know I love it. This was my most used palette in 2022. And I've used this six times in three months. And like I said, I have a pretty big collection of eyeshadow palettes. So here's a look in the palette, and this is why it is on sale. <laughs> um, this is not a well-received palette or a well-ranked palette overall, just people didn't quite get it. This was my first introduction to the brand too, and I had to say, like at the time, it was uneven. I had to figure out how to use these shadows, and it wasn't quite what I was used to at the time, but now that I've worked with a few palettes from the brand and I still have this palette, I really, really love the brand and I really like this palette. And this went home with me to the US, it traveled with me, I love this palette. I just do. And God, there's stickers on it too. What am I doing? What am I doing with my life? It has 35 ultra versatile shades for endless color combinations, everything from sultry glam through to vibrant color. If you can dream it, you can create it. 19 different, 19 deeply pigmented matte shades, 13 stunning shimmers ranging from rich pressed pigments, super sparkle shadows and stunning duochrome foils, one matte cream shadow, one shimmer cream shadow, one shimmer gloss shadow. And I will say, this is what I really like about this palette is the variety of textures that you can work with. So, people hate this palette, I love this palette. I, I know, I know. I think I'm gonna do a video of uh, makeup that I like that is otherwise underrated. Or like, I don't know how to exactly title it. Like, using makeup that I like but nobody else likes. That's that's my it's coming up. It'll happen. Okay, next up, this is Dancing in the Sky from Gloss Gods, and this is an all duochrome, all shimmer palette. And I've talked about this palette quite a lot. It stole my heart, and it is very flaky and very beautiful. You definitely need to glue the shimmers down. And like I said, this isn't a complete palette. This is a companion palette. But look at look at look at that look at it you know what i mean so this is 45 dollars. i really like gloss gods i'm wearing gloss gods today i'm wearing vintage glam but this is definitely where my heart is this is a great palette for me if you like duochromes this is I know, I don't seem like this kind of person, but I am this kind of person because I guess I have a job. So I have used this palette six total times in the last three months. Again, this is our quarterly report. And I gotta say, I love this palette, I really do. I really like this shade because I can use it as a contour shade. And then any of these, I can also kind of use as a cool toned blush shade. I wore this today earlier for work. It was great. It just went right down. I love Beauty Bay. I love Beauty Bay quality. I'm never, I'm never gonna wanna let this go. I think this is a great palette. And especially if you are into neutrals and like cool tone neutrals, you can't go wrong with this. This is currently on sale for $31.50. It's normally $35. So if you're interested, go get it. It's available. Looks like it's available all over the world weird sometimes how that works okay and I say 
it's available all around the world because of this next thing. So I've used this palette also six times. This is Interstellar, the Stacey Marie collaboration with Be Perfect. And this um, is stunning. <laughs> this is a beautiful, beautiful palette. I need to get it out more. And there's, there's, th th <laughs> this palette can do no wrong, really. Um, so what's weird is that it's not available on Beauty Bay right now. I would imagine they're gonna restock it. It is not available to order in the US from the Be Perfect website, but it is available to order if you're ordering outside of the US. So it's $41.95 Great British Pounds. I would imagine they're going to restock it. If you haven't got it and you're in the US and you want to get it, 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 it would restock. So I don't know. It's weird how they do that. It's very strange. Very, very strange. So lastly, I'm being annoying about these Be Perfect palettes, but honestly, they're such good palettes that I just can't like I just can't not use them they're really good and they're very reliable so the next one I've used this also six times this is the Carnival XL remastered and this is just solid I've said it before I'll say it again I'll say it again this is just a solid palette this is just a solid rainbow palette with some neutrals on this side and it has so it it doesn't have a variety of textures in it which is my one criticism of it I guess if I had to pick one but if you are not upset by the fact that there aren't that many like different textures first of all you can have this and what you can do and what I am doing frequently is that I'll get like an all shimmer all duochrome palette and pair these together because I know these mattes are spectacular and I know that these duochromes are also spectacular. It's a, it's a perfect, beautiful marriage on my eyeballs. So this is available, uh, this is available, blah, 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 blah. this is available for $46.95 on Beauty Bay and it is $40 on Be Perfect. So if you wanna save some money, then you can go get that. So I, to, to recap, you can order Manifest Dream Big and Carnival XL Remastered if you're ordering from the US. So you can get Dream Big. If you're ordering outside of the US, you can get Interstellar. But just be patient, it'll restock. All right, thank you for watching this short little video. And yeah, we're gonna be doing this again in about three months. So the, that was like a total of six palettes, mind you. It's gonna be cumulative, so I'm gonna probably be talking about these again and you'll probably see them again maybe maybe different palettes will be in the running i didn't really want to go into like top 10 because then i was down into like the fours and the threes and i don't want to talk about that all of this was like six times five times done with that have a good day i'll see you next time and subscribe thanks bye